All right, everybody, welcome back and welcome into yet another 70 Star Pro League match tonight, the third race of the night. This one between Horror and Bombs. Two very capable runners in their own right. Oh, Bombs actually got a sick PB. Bombs, what's your new PB? Uh, I did not PB. I have a 49.41. Wait, what? Am I tripping? Dude, did I like dream Twitter or something? I swear to God, I saw on Twitter you get a 48. <laughs> Am I tripping? You might, you might be thinking of soda. Soda got a 48. Oh no, my right. God! Yeah, that's right. Okay, <laughs> my bad. Okay, I thought I forgot to update your PB. Uh, you could have just taken it. You could have been like, yeah, I got a 40, 48. No big deal. <laughs> I actually got a 47. Um. <laughs> all right. Anyways, fake news. Uh, Bob's how you feel it anyways. <laughs> Um, I'm feeling good. I I think I could play good today, maybe. I was gonna I was gonna practice like at seven, but then the race happened at seven or six thirty. So <laughs> yeah, schedules are a thing, unfortunately. Well, hopefully uh, the I mean Frost also forgot his match was happening and did the practice and won the match. So. Maybe that'll happen for you too. Uh, but we, we do also have horror in the booth. Horror, how are you feeling? I'm feeling okay. All Nervous right. Nervous as always. Excellent. I'm not gonna fake news and pretend that you have a better PB than you did. You have 4838, right? Nope. Oh my God! No way. <laughs> what what is I your PB? It's 36. 8.36 because okay. when I signed up for this, it was that was before my newest PB. Alright. So. <laughs> okay, I don't know anything. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. It's all good. Uh, well, you guys can both ready up if you want, and we can get this thing started. Yep. Alright. Good all right. luck. G good, good luck, luck. yep. And uh, kind of in a rush to get things started here, but uh, we do have also co-commentary in the booth. Good grief. Can't forget them. How's it going, everyone? Yeah, good luck to both racers. Epic. It's me. And they oh. are all. Hello. Okey -dokey. Yep, so Horror is known to be a fairly consistent runner. Kind of hard to get victory over him during races, so it'll be interesting to see how Bomb stacks up against Horror since he's also known to have decent consistency. Yeah, I think everybody pretty much that is in this tournament has above decent consistency, I would say. Um, a lot of people still sell themselves short, I'm not really sure. I was in, fa or not Phaser, I was in uh, Frostbite stream after the last race just like doing something like post-game chat and He's like, yeah, you know, I don't know. Count up, I think I can beat Horror, maybe. But I don't know about Scythe or Kali. And I'm like, bro, come on. Any, anything can happen in a race, man. The, the PB discrepancy is not that big. Less than like 30 seconds, I think. Or like around 30 seconds between you and Kali. If you're not confident, you can take a match off him. Um, but I definitely think this match is going to be very close, for sure. I have to agree with that. Oh, for sure. And back to your other point, I find that runners are definitely their own harshest critic. Alright, so both are on English, which saves about two seconds by comparison. And if they go bold and decide to go for CCM 17 route, no worries, a sound glitch either. Or we're trying to go for IHOP, that is interesting. Yeah, that's a super ballsy decision here. Uh, does end up getting it, but a couple of bonks here and there. Uh, not going to net him any time save, but probably not going to lose much here either. I, don't, I would say throughout like a, a... Just, you know, negating each other out here. Yeah, I've done my fair share of buy hops with my recent 70 streams, and I think Horror's at the break-even point. How much... Uh, apologies for that. Anyways, Womps his first blood on Womps. Going for a cannonless salt. Ooh, not quite getting it, unfortunately. 
I personally cannot advocate for this strat. The consistency is just so iffy, and it loses a fair bit of time when you miss cannonless. Yeah, it depends on what your goal is, right? If you're if you've got like a low 47 and you're trying to find like some extra time save, then sure. But if you're uh, you know, you're sitting at a mid to high 49. You could probably skip over, especially going for it two times in a race. That is extremely risky. I like this backup, though. I'm a big fan of this backup. Um, and going straight for Sock Boulder with Plank Push. I think you got it at that point. And sometimes the simplest things always works best. And with that, Horror is catching up to Womps. With about a two-star lead if you compare the routes, because Womps did Womps 8. Meanwhile, Horror got first slide done before Womps at IHOP to that, and pace is going to be hard to compare for a fair bit. Yeah, you kind of have to look more at, you know, what, what things are being messed up rather than where they physically are on the screen and bomb so far i would say is having a little bit harder of a time oh the horror is missing cannonless now so um that's kind of like the the double-edged sword of going for texture right is uh, it's a little bit safer in terms of consistency but when you do miss it it does take a little bit more time so yeah 10 second loss if i recall correctly oh, god yeah bomb's taking a slip and slide there on the hundred point Yep, that swamp does get you sometimes. Alright, second try at texture and ooh, readjusting. But gets it. Here we go! Meanwhile, Bombs is wrapping up 100 coin. Definitely not easy. Definitely one of the scariest stars in the run. Womps in general is a bit of a spaghetti fest usually for both these uh, runners and pretty much every runner, honestly. I don't think anybody has a comfortable time in Womps even if they claim they do. Yeah, that's what happens when you have a super technical 100 coin and two annoying tricks to open the stage up. I still think it's a really fun stage though, like out, out of all the stages, I would definitely like put it like pretty high on my list. If I had to put it in a tier that's list. That's definitely an interesting take. Oh come on! All the stars are pretty well designed. It's compact. It's fun. There's good movement. From a casual yeah. perspective, it's definitely one of the better stages. Okay, casual perspective. That's a whole different game there. What? It's pretty pretty much the same. Eh, maybe I just hate Owlus and Quest that much. I do think 100 coin is super fun, as hard as it can be. It's have some pretty tight movement, unfortunately, but uh, if you fail, it loses quite a bit of time. But both players getting through relatively unscathed. Yep. Or we're pulling out a pretty decent looking advanced cycle. Not quite the most optimal one, but definitely pretty fast and serves its purpose quite well for races. Yeah, I think in general, just going for that circle first is, uh, it's just a really strong strat. Obviously, when you get, like, low 48, you want to be upgrading to the slightly faster movement, but it makes the early cycle very comfortable, and the time save going for the other route is very minimal, so... I'm, yeah. I'm a big fan, personally, even outside races. I was actually on horror shit yesterday, or a couple of days ago, and he says that only saves about two seconds, so... Definitely top level, where you want to squeeze every last drop of that, out of that orange, so to speak. Alright, alright, what kind of slide times Bomb's gonna get? 12.9. Nice and respectable, for sure. And since it's Womp's 8, he gets his second shot at slide right away. Get your slide predictions in chat. Here we go. 
for wrapping up Womps with 10 stars doing the IHOP route. Still think he's a madman for going for that and pulling it off successfully. I, I, I don't know if I would call it successfully, but it definitely, I mean, he got the star. Eh, five second loss over falling off. I'd say successfully in a race setting. <laughs> but did he save time with it? That's the question. Was it worth the risk? Yeah, sometimes you take those. I definitely wouldn't be complaining if I'm horror, but... Going for IHOP, yeah. pretty scary. Horror stream, pretty scary. Yeah. Alright, some dramatic tension due to horror stream while Bombs is wrapping up Wing Cap. Pretty clean looking one. Bombs having first blood to Dark World. Let's see how it goes. Has a whole bunch of interesting cycles. You know, there's Shig, Zaya, and for those who are really bold, Suki. I am not that bold. Okay. Me neither. Shig is nice and comfy for me. Ooh. Not quite getting that eighth thread, but backing it up quite gracefully. Bomb's taking a bit of a burn, so I think has to settle for normal cycle, which in a race setting, you honestly take that when the alternative is death. Monka. I've never seen someone drop frames in this particular way that Horror is dropping frames. It's like he's got like a emulator on like a really slow computer and he has like a frame skip turned on or something like that. <laughs> like I've never seen frames drop in that particular way. Oh, uh, like just consistently drop based on the second rather than just like a giant frame drop yeah. in one area. Yeah. It's a I creative mean, it's way to like... drop frames. I like it. Yeah. Keep it. Bike Simulator 2024. This is the alpha state. But it looks like horror through Dark World fairly comfy. Ooh, not that the save. You love to see it. Yeah, that was looking a little bit precarious there. That slope is extremely punishing. Alrighty. Standard throw. Looking good. Bomb's on his way to do sky jump, which horror is exempt from thanks to pulling off IHOP. All right, so it looks like Horror has a slight lead on bombs, but still plenty of game to go. Nothing guaranteed. Let's hope for the best for both of these runners, but there can only be one winner. I'm going to stay steadfast in my constant wishing for the demise of both runners in Super Mario 64. I want to wow. see a spaghetti fest. I want to see lots of deaths. I want to see some bonks. There you go. That's one. Thank you, Horror. Well, yeah, that's also the beauty of these races. Even if both of them just have an absolute bad day, one still wins. <laughs> it's all relative. Horror going for a little penguin first, which I do find interesting. And now it's Horror's turn. Yeah, they're pretty much swapping stars and trying it out for themselves now. Horror having a good pro wall kicks. Bombs looking like he's setting up the camera for the penguin drop, but doesn't quite get it. Or maybe he's just comfy with that setup and doesn't go for it. Who knows? 
before we're going bold, doing CCM 17 route, presumably, because didn't do the slide yet. Let's see how it pans out. Both are going for CCM 17, actually. I am excited on how this will turn out for both of them. Definitely one of the more bold route changes to go for in a race, but fairly manageable if you compare it to IHOP. Yeah, I mean, Horror's going for IHOP, so you know he's going to go for a double plus. There's no way he doesn't. And Bombs is going up against somebody who, you know, on paper has a better PB, is the favorite to win. So you might as well pull out the, uh, the strats, right? You don't really want to be in a position where you're like, all right, I'm just going to play from behind and hope that Horror dies three times and... TTC or something. Yeah, for sure. It's a slippery slope, though. Sometimes you're going to want to go for the simpler stuff because you're just that much more used to it. Depends on experience with both strats, really. Yeah, so while horror is... Keeping us in dramatic tension. Bombs makes his exit from CCM. BBH being the next stage to enter the spotlight. That is just a uh, horror's game feed. Well, unless the entire YouTube stream is lagging for you, but. Yep. Bombs' stream is chugging along quite well so far. Oh yeah, definitely one of the simpler stages, uh, 70 star. Some room for mishaps, but other than that, two quick to the point stars. Horror having a really interesting camera for that big kill. Like, I think I understand the madness behind it. Like, he kind of wants to track how Mario's moving on that slope on route to the star. The setup looks tricky, though. That star in general is tr pretty tricky. If you start getting the uh, higher level movements and you know, where you're long jumping through the boo and stuff, it can get a little bit spooky. Yeah, quick boot kill is nothing to scoff at. Hell, even like that side flip on the balcony to the second floor gets people. Alright. Horror having... Looks like he's gonna have first blood with SSL. I am really excited to see how this part plays out. Yeah, it can get really, really dicey really fast here in Shifting Sandland. As we've seen in the races so far tonight, there have been quite a few pillarless deaths already, so we'll see how both these runners fare with two plus attempts each. And no Difficult. doubt they're going to be Tama, so... Yep. Difficult trick, especially with Tama, as Saren specified. Lots of precise movements and timings. Just one factor going wrong, that will be a lot of time loss. Oh, and Ooh. Bomb's taking a death while Horror gets the first Tama Plus. That is not a good situation for Bombs, who needs every single thing to go right for him, honestly, to really stay in this. So, we're going to have to see a success here. Kind of it's a just deal. Sorry, it's just painful to watch that death because I have been having a mental block with that recently and I just feel that pain. Mm -hmm. Like that specific jump. So easy to overthink and miss time. Alright, horror getting both of his pluses out of the way while. Wow. Let's try his, his second one. Alright, looking good. 
phone for secrets, so... Horror has a fair bit of a lead, but nothing too earth-shattering. Yeah, definitely still within striking distance here. A bit unfortunate to take the death on plus, but at least the death didn't turn into a whole Mario meltdown, so you can't really be too mad at yourself with your bombs right now. Yeah, like a small pillarless death like that in the grand scheme of things for a race is just nothing. Ooh, horror taking a slip. Oh, and the fly guy absolutely getting a piece of horror there. Oh, yeah. and a double Absolute. hit! What the hell? Dude. Just absolute bad <laughs> manners for that fly guy. Yeah, pro league goalie apparently blocking the entrance to that star horror just having a laugh at it, but that is that's a sizable time loss there. That's yeah, some serious violence going on. I guess we have to narrow the gap in some way. Yeah, that's a new one. The scriptwriters are getting really creative, honestly, this season. Oh, for sure. Can't just repeat the same plot over and over. Did I get that viewership for the CCG channel? Oh, yeah. Alright. LOL. Being the current stage these players are focusing on. The star order for, like, the six stars you do is just... There's so much variance. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. When you said LOL, I thought you said LOL, and I was, I was about to die laughing, dude. Just LOL. <laughs> yeah. Well, this stage sure does make me laugh out loud sometimes. <laughs> I'm gonna start saying that unironically. Yeah, I think some people will actually just do that. Like, for their LOL split name, they'll just do LOL. Yeah, but I don't know about verbally saying it out loud. Anyways, um... Oh god, Ooh, bombs. Not, not quite getting that. What? Okay, alright. I, I respect Let's that. Going for the elevator as a backup. Yeah, makes sense. Lucky he had that opportunity because usually a lava boost fail will just eat all your health away. Apparently, we're getting some intel in the chat that actually Horror is throwing the match. Or no, excuse me, Bombs is throwing the match. We might have to uh, investigate. Maybe some match fixing going on. I know people are putting a lot of money on the line uh, in these matches. Um, but, yeah, obviously we don't want that. Well, I mean, hey, it's the whole classic, I'll gift you, like, 500 subs if you throw the match, you know? Oh, yeah. Bombs get... Oh. Ooh, not... Put in the effort to get the boost but not quite game the ending. Having to go through the severe punishment of climbing the volcano. That definitely was some severe punishment there. He is a solid star and a half behind here for one more star left in Lethal Lava Land than he is on to catch up to Fire Sea. Yep, a very scary stage for sure. I'll go in a bit more detail on why when we actually get there. Because it's where Bowser is, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. I've been studying my Mario 64. Yeah. Good job, Saren, you get an A+. Plus. Hell yeah. And with that, Horror is the first to exit LOL. To relax from that burning experience, he'll go for a nice little swim in DDD. Let's see how his rhythm does. Because swimming, as a bunch of the Mario runners know, requires a precise rhythm for optimal swimming. And if you're off by too much, you will slow down big time. 
Yeah, I mean, we saw someone take a death today on chests, which is not something you usually see, but it is something that can happen, as Horror has some excellent lines here, swimming through the water. Yeah. How did that death play out, anyways? Uh, was coming up on the second chest, and was too close to the last chest, and ended up just running into the last chest, and then just zapping, it was just frozen into the whirlpool, it was pretty brutal. Ah, uh, yeah. That whirlpool does get you sometimes, and it just feels so bad when it does. Yeah, I remember when I first started running 70, it was like an actual run killer. It was like a problem for me at first. You gotta respect the whirlpool a little bit. Yeah, give it its distance. Yeah, respect its distance, for sure. Yeah. A bit introverted, gets overwhelmed if you get too close. Going for back sub, definitely respectable at this level, because front sub is really scary in 70, and it's mostly those who already have a 47 that start to even consider it. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think it's that bad. It's, it's definitely a lot of risk for very little reward, though. I think that's yeah, more of the thing. It's, it's less that, like, horror would have an issue with it, and more of it's, like, the amount of times that he would lose, like, you know, five to ten seconds on it are not worth the, like, second or half a second time save he's gonna net from it. Yeah, that's definitely a good point, bringing up the whole risk management aspect of 70 star, with it being a decently long attack. Front sub definitely shines more in 16 and 1 star. And with that, Horror is the first one to go into Fire Sea. The stage is scary because of Bowser, and because there is a certain cycle where one minor mistake <laughs> will lose about 8 seconds, and a major one will lose 20. Yeah, some stream delay gonna also lose horror some time there. Unfortunate, just freezing in place. Luckily, I don't think that affects the uh, platform cycle here. All right, confident about that lava boost and gets it. So, nailing early cycle, early Ellie's. You love to see it. That is 20 seconds he keeps. Ooh. Ooh, bombs. That lag giving him no quarter. Alright, Jack Black has made his appearance for today's race. Getting absolutely destroyed. The bombs are pretty good so far here as well. Yup. Interesting camera angles. Oh my god. Definitely. Okay. Oh, Alright. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's definitely one of the more interesting things. I think he's got it. I've... Yeah. That's like a nice perspective. Like, maybe his spatial awareness is just really on point. Chooses to sacrifice some quality camera just to focus on movement that much more. I definitely respect it. Well, the the angles are a lot more straight on, right? So, oh. yeah. And I suppose it is, like, easiest to move fastest when you're just holding up on the control stick. Unfortunately, Horror has already missed his buffer coin for Wet Dry World 100. Ooh. If he misses it, ooh, that is some rotten RNG. Yeah, that Hate was pretty bad. This is why this 100 coin tilts me so much. I think it's worse than triple jump wall kicks some days. 
Alright, nice. And now Bombs is making his way to what Dry World 2. Yeah, and Bombs has been playing pretty cleanly for the uh, last couple of minutes, so... Uh, I think he's definitely at least keeping pace here with Horror, if not catching up a little bit. Uh, but Horror's also been playing really good. It just depends on how this uh, Wet Dry World Hunter coin goes. There's a few seconds to save here for Bombs, but not a whole lot. Yeah, I mean, aside from that beginning bit with the coin RNG, Horror really held up his guard well for 100 coin. Yeah, so it'll be challenging. Bob's getting some not great RNG on the first coin, and also throwing about about seven kicks to break that second box. So yeah, we'll be saving any time here, but hopefully we won't be losing any. Oh, getting the first triple jump wall kick—that is a hard strat. So you love to see it when it goes right. And I imagine Horror will go for the other one in top of town. Some people like to opt out of that one because it only saves about a second, maybe second and a half. Yeah, he's deciding to opt out. I respect it. Especially when you're in a position like this where you're in the lead. Like, he's not got a massive lead, right? But he's got a pretty solid lead. He's definitely in control of this race. There's no point in going for really small time saves like that. Like, there's no way we're going to see Horror go for, like, Breezeless and TTM or something. It's it's a lot less riskier of a strat, but there's just no point. Like, the time save is so minimal, and if you mess it up, it's just like, okay, I just fell into the water. <laughs> like, I gotta go swim back to my destination. Yeah. I honestly think Breezeless is, like, far more comfy in comparison to <laughs> top of town triple jump wall kicks, because mess up Breezeless and you just do the conventional strat anyways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this triple jump wall kick is just way more alluring, right? Because you don't have to... It, it just saves more time. It's just a bigger time save. Yeah, for elevator at least. Ooh, nice camera adjustment. Oh, sick frames. Okay. Yep. Gotta keep this race in suspense somehow. <laughs> Did horror fall and die? Nope. Fall find out next Look, time. That was a pretty clean secret. Definitely a star where it's easy to spiral into failure. <laughs> Yeah, we're worth mentioning, uh, since Anime posted it in chat, you can check out the standings page and who's in the tournament on the challenge, as well as the prize pool, and you can contribute to it as well on the Matcharino page. Two very cool things that are possible. Yeah. All those earnings go to the top three of this league, and... Provides a lot of incentive to give these high octane performances for these races, so every little bit helps for sure. Yep. Oh. Ooh! That is unfortunate. Yeah, that dive into the pipe is harder than it looks. Really gotta restrict your movement if you want to make it in there and not pass. Here we go. Yeah, you know, I, I was just thinking about it, and if you were to play in the Seri Star Pro League and win, uh, you would actually make above minimum wage paying Mario. So that's pretty, that's pretty pretty remarkable. Competitive Mario speedrunning. Definitely hmm. worth it. I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> I feel like play, play time is va variable between these runners. You make the bank, you get the girls. It's 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 the most lucrative uh, career oh, choice, honestly. Oh, oh, you're not gaining any girls playing Mario. <laughs> what? 
Dude, as soon as I got sub 20 and 16 star, I had like so many matches on Tinder, dude. Like, I just put it in my wow. Tinder bio. I was just wow. like, has sub 16. I got ripped off, man. Has sub 20 and 16 star. And it was just like, every single time, it was just like, it's a match, it's a match. I'm like, dang, I have like. Man. I don't got time I to got... talk to all these girls, dude. I got major scammed. Thanks for keeping me posted. <laughs> I mean, did you wow. put your PBs in the bio? That's critical. Oh, yeah. You gotta advertise it. Ah, oh, man. Alright, well. DTM's known to be a particularly fun stage in 70. Okay, or, ooh, yeah, weird winding position for the log wall kick, but looking comfy still, getting summit, and mountain clip in general out of the way. A lot of things can go wrong, very frustrating when it does. Ooh, ooh, shoulda kicked bombs. Greed really sets you back when it comes to this star. Horror busting out the clean looking red so far. Yep, yep. Very nice. That is a very movement intense star, and it is so nice to watch. Reds Bombs is terrifying. It's terrifying, but it feels nice to get, you know? It's mostly terrifying. Unless you're going for, like, basic strats, then it's, like, pretty comfy and a pretty fun star. When you start going for, like, the speed kicks before the mushrooms and the long jump insta-dive and, like, the side flip finish, it's, like, it's so hard. It's such a hard star. I don't think oh, I've ever side... gotten, like, all all the strats in that star and just been like, that was clean. Like, not, I don't think I've done that once. <laughs> like... Fair enough. The side flip finish looks cool. Horror didn't even go for it when I look. Ooh, not quite getting that ledge grab. Having to go for reds as a backup. But yeah, a fair bit of the red coins in this run is just a marvel on this game's movement. Ooh. Bomb's having a Red's meltdown, so... You definitely see what you mean by terrifying. Or going for the double speed kick strat for Pond. Very clean looking one. Horror is definitely not holding back, giving it his all, and demonstrating why he has a 48-36 in this category. And Bomb's just wrapping up TTM in the meantime. And honestly, if you are enjoying this high octane race, then subscribe to the Cool Cat Gang if you want to keep yourself posted on the next Pro League races coming up. And even some coming tourneys that are going to happen in the future. Stay tuned. How do you know there's going to be tourneys coming up? What if this is the last one? I don't know, man. I got insider info. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. I mean, you gotta keep them engaged somehow, you know? Ooh. Bomb's not having a good time with Snowman's head. Another one of those stars that could just spiral into chaos if left unchecked.
pretty much just is constant chaos, I think. Yeah, upstairs especially. Who knows how often both these runners make it there. Lobby and basement are already demanding as it is. Yeah, not quite getting the angle for the quick box break, but recovers in a fairly quick fashion. Ooh, not quite getting box jump. It's a bit too far left and ate it from the grate. Quick backup though. Immediately going for the emergency exit. Yeah, definitely the best backup, unless you're stubborn and you want to try again. But usually a bad idea because the camera is all messed up at that point. I kind of think re lining up for uh, triple box jump is too bad. Oh, horror breaking the box, so we're gonna have to go for Christmas Miracle as another backup. So we are yeah. now pretty much out of backups, at least good backups for horror. Well, one up for good luck. It is a white Christmas for horror, though. Love to see it. Yeah, it's worth mentioning as Bombs heads down here uh, that the star lead is a little bit deceiving, right? We're going to be grabbing MIPS here. So we're going to be getting a quick star and then into HMC, but horror is about to wrap up HMC here. Just two more stars to go. We got to get this triple box jump, though. Yep. Star lead is definitely just a heuristic. Nothing too accurate, because length of stars Ooh. vary wildly. Okay. Box jump meltdown. All right. Get, getting the second try. Clutch fashion. Yeah, that was uh, a bit dicey for sure. Yeah. Like, a lot of intermediate and, like, high-level runners tend to go for that, but it is difficult, and it will still get you here and there. Or getting the boulder RNG, at the very least. So, just a bit over the 40 minute mark exiting HMC. Horror is on a pretty decent 49 pace, I think. And with that, Horror gets a first crack at Tippy, the scariest portion of 70 by far. Ooh, Christmas Miracle not treating bombs too nicely. Not even getting the ground pound back up. That is a green Christmas for bombs, unfortunately. Going for the side flip strat and the lack of bounce. The simplest of the bunch, but does have a fair bit of inconsistencies. Gets that quick pull grab. Going for the quick movement at the end and fairly clean lack of bounce off horror's part. That is a scary star that has killed a bunch of runs and races. Oh! Ooh. Hard strat. You have to go a certain angle to make that wall kick, and the timing matters so much. Too late, you biff it to the platform like Forward did just now. Oh! Okay, yeah. this is uh, starting to become a problem for Horror. Definitely needs to convert on one of these uh, wall kicks soon, as Bomb's one star away from catching up the star count here. Does have to make his way upstairs still. Okay, let's oh! What is happening to horror right now? Every time this dude collides with the wall, he just cannot get a wall kick. Yeah, tragic to see. Going for it again. 
What is happening? Oh, man. I actually I cannot believe this is happening. Bombs is literally at the 50 star door. This has been yeah. just a cataclysmic start to Rainbow Ride here for horror. I got one star and then it's just been all downhill. As we've finally gotten a wall kick. I can unfortunately believe it. Pro Triangles is so easy to overthink. And the punishment for failure is severe. Oh, well, bombs having troubles too. Blackabouts. Yeah. Definitely far from being a free strat. Yeah, it definitely is unfortunate. You know, coming into Rainbow Ride, you see your opponent making some errors and uh, can't quite clutch it out. It's definitely the most annoying of the tippy stages. It's like a bunch of weird tricks that are just punishing if you mess it up. I feel like at least TTC is a lot more movement oriented, as brutal as it can be. Yeah, Rainbow Ride definitely feels like a, a lot more of a toss-up to me than TTC. Even with all the invis walls and stuff, it's like... I enter yeah. Rainbow Ride and I'm just like, what's gonna happen with Lack 2 Bounce? Uh... Like, you have Lack 2 Bounce, you have Pro Triangles... And, as, and Reds uh, is... Go ahead. As Horror depicted really well earlier, those triple jump wall kicks at the start, you know, a lot of people make them look easy. They are not easy. I mean, we see people take pretty fat deaths just not not even getting the triple jump. They just double jump and then just kind of slide off the stage because you're, you're triple jumping really close to the edge in order to make that work. And yeah, yeah, especially for pro wall kicks. The one you do on route to lack of bounces will still get you here and there. All it takes is one miss time being too close to the edge on the triple jump. Yeah, but Horror into TTC now, going to be tackling the 100 coin here with going for the old school movement, which respectable. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah. And I think, like, it was, like, Dede who found, like, that coin, like, that other movement to the blue coin switch. Still a fairly recent development in Rio Strats. Or opting to jump on the platforms, not risking the long jumps. You could just eat it at the edge of that triangle and just take a ooh, ooh, wall kicking the flippy and taking the death. You hate to see it. It sure has been a great race, Anime. Pro League. Pretty exciting stuff. Ooh, going for the long jump strat. For Pendulum. Working out quite well. And that is an interesting way to grab the blues there for 100 coin on Bombs' part. Like, I really just love how unique movement is, even amongst high-level players. Oh, man. That is the last thing Bombs needed there was an invis wall, but that's what he got. The triple jump dive working out, though. I've seen yeah. a lot of players have really good uh, consistency with that triple jump dive. It looks super scary, but uh, people are making it work, so... Yeah, I am not one of those people, unfortunately. Oh, well, looks like Horror got his flippies down quite well, so... At the very least, that's out of the way for him. Meanwhile, Bombs... ...having the other TTC stars to get done. 
opting to go for standing reds first. Which is respectable, because moving reds is difficult. And it really only saves time because of the faster clock entry. Oh my god, horror! Oh, that is so cursed. I don't know if I've ever seen anyone fall like that. That was actually a crazy thing to happen. It's not the most surprising thing I've seen. We're definitely making some uh, strange mistakes in this one. Yeah. Which if, if you go ahead. If your bombs, I, I don't know. I I feel like it's like a double punch to the face almost. Like if you had a bad race and then you're also like, I could have beat my opponent. Like you know they didn't like play out of their mind, right? And like beat your PB or something. Like horror is very much playing within uh, bombs' capacity to beat, right? Yeah, and TTC is definitely the place to go for weird mistakes. It's where the nerves are at an all-time high. Bombs on route to bits. Let's see what kind of strats he pulls out. A bit of trouble getting up those stairs, but no big deal. The bomb hit uh, Toad early? I don't think so. Okay. That's at least one little saving grace here in Bomb's back pop pocket as Horror is approaching the end of the game here. I have to see how Horror handles the rest of the sky. Uh, assuming we can see. Okay, excellent. <laughs> Perfect. Just in time for triple jump wall kick. Oh, I lied. <laughs> Never mind. Clean looking bits movement, opting for standing left. Getting it. Why not? I think, yeah. For when you me, have like this, go ahead. I was gonna say, for me, if I'm choosing between a moving wall kick and a standing, or like if I'm going safe or dangerous on moving or a triple jump wall kick. I'm either going for moving right or I'm going for standing left. Like, I don't I don't mess around with or moving left side because, I don't know, if you're going safe, just go safe. Yeah. That's one. That's two. And not quite three. I'm on the same boat as you, Saren. I am two rust buckets at moving left, so I either go for moving left, moving right, or back up with standing left. Alright, and that is the final throw for Horror. He has clutched the W for this race. Give a GG's in the chat for his wondrous efforts. Wondrous. True. Alrighty. Bomb's not too far behind. Looks like he's play it out. Fantastic performance from both of these racers. And let's close it off with the second set of throws. One. And Bomb's getting all his throws without issue. Still taking the L for this race, but has put up a valiant effort to stay as close to horror as he did. Also give a GG's in the chat for Bomb. Epic. Yeah, solid race. Both sub 52, which is honestly great to watch. Yeah, sub 52 is sick. And I'm not just saying that as someone who has a 52 15. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, getting anything under a 52 is very, very difficult, yeah. especially in a race.
Don't worry, Saren here, 49 will come. Yeah, I heard it takes playing the game, but I don't know. I've not tested that strategy out yet. Yeah. Definitely gotta play it more than you'd like. And with that, Bombs and Horror are now in the booth with us again. So, Horror, congrats on the amazing W for today or tonight's race. How did you feel about it? Well, I felt pretty good up to Tippy. Yeah. I got, yeah. I got some Tippy work to do. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, who doesn't have Tippy work to do? Yeah. That's how it'll be. Yeah. Excellent performance on your end. Meanwhile, with Bombs... You put up a nice effort, demonstrated solid gameplay, but you do take the L for tonight's race. Still, congrats, and how did you feel about tonight's race? Um, I played pretty bad. Uh, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> A fair summary. I, I think you. I think you did pretty good. I think uh, a little bit of warming up would have done you well, but uh, for just showing up cold and doing a no reset, I think you put up a pretty good effort. Yeah, sub fifty two for no practice is honestly goaded. Agree. Uh, I hate to be that guy as well, but horror. I gotta ask, what was going on with the rainbow ride triple jump wall kicks? Um. I was asking the same thing myself. Um, like sometimes, like at the end of like a no reset run or a PV attempt run, there will be runs where I just get it no problem, and then there will be times where uh, I think it's like a mental block where if I miss it once, it automatically makes it almost impossible to hit it the next time, and it's just you know. So I tried doing reds instead, just to clear my head, and then I missed the normal triple jump walk, and I'm like, okay, well, that's fun. Um, that didn't work out. But yeah, yeah, going for the normal one and missing it <laughs> was definitely, like, the, the extra painful uh, nail in the coffin yeah. there. I'm gonna go ahead and just blame it on the uh, Cali Rainbow Ride curse trickling down. Um, definitely not your fault. Uh, it's just going down the ranks here oh, in right. the Pro League so far. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, but yeah, anyways, with that, uh, huge GG's to both runners, appreciate you coming in, doing the race, as always, and, uh, shouts to Greeth for coming to the commentary booth. Uh, also, Bombs, please finish in race time. <laughs> uh, but... You mean horror. Wait. Oh, damn it, now I gotta cancel the race. Yeah. <laughs> race time too yep. hard. Rip. Yeah, so Saren... Now your leaderboard like... rankings on race time GG are gonna be... Degraded, no. No. <laughs> no. Oh, oh wow. I told you. I told you that I'm gonna 104 on the race time yesterday. You're gonna fall behind the guy that did one race versus three other people that never played the game before and got like a 247 70 star and is somehow like fifth place on the leaderboard. <laughs> but we don't talk about that. Uh, anyways, um,. Yeah, we are going to be going to a short break. We have yet another match tonight because apparently it's just SM64 day. So if you want to hang out, Cryptic vs. Madware is coming on in about 10 minutes. Short break this time. So everybody sit tight. We'll be back in a few. Bye-bye.